Teku observed the gigantic carved rock. It appeared to be an effigy of a powerful toad. It must represent somebody important. Nevertheless, the wooden structure didn't seem very stable. wasn't aware of it yet, but Teku had the solution right in front of his eyes. A strange mechanism seemed to be controlling the water, coming out of the enormous gourd. And Teku remembered having seen that symbol before. It was a Wakcha warrior, but unfortunately there was no trace of the shaman. It's possible that the main group had gone on ahead. He had to be careful. They were very dangerous.
Teku immediately recognized the man who was asking for help. It was one of the bodyguards of Yaka, his tribe shaman. He had to help him, but how could he get to him? He had heard stories about those platforms. The ancients used them to travel rapidly to distant places. But to use it, he needed his candle to be burning. In the center of the pond, there was an enormous fat toad. Teku recognized him. It was the toad carved in the rock. With a little luck, he would let him pass by. after Teku. is coming after Teku. Unfortunately, the rope was too short. He would have to get a little closer to be able to reach his friend.
Before bidding farewell, the bodyguard gave Teku an amulet to show his gratitude. He told him it would bring him luck. Over to the other side, the old lady asked Teku for two coins in exchange for the trip. There was something strange on that wall. Tiny lights seemed to emerge from inside the tapestry as if there were something behind it. It was a very old painting. It showed three shamans dancing around a bonfire. Behind them, a thunderstorm was about to break out. It could be one of the ancient rain dances that his ancestors used to perform during droughts. On the stone column blocking the road, there was a banner with symbols painted on the canvas. The only one that could be seen above the rock showed a leaf. Perhaps it was a clue. Oh, 
Jangan apa, jangan apa Makan tuku-tuku Eh, peko He was a collector of strange objects. Teku could ask him about some of the things he was looking for. Teku only had to find the second coin and bring it to the old lady. <laughs> <laughs> 